Deer, Elijah, and Elena. Surprise pregnancies, unplanned pregnancies, do not have to be a life sentence for you. I'm saying this as a person who, um, independent, conservative, and pro-life, and this video may be a little bit more controversial than uh, typical. This uh, topic is very controversial. Um, but Elena and Elijah, as you get older, you all form your own opinions. You, you know, you'll be pro-life or pro-choice or maybe something else, uh, conservative or progressive. And um, the thing is, though, I want you both to remember to never demonize the other position or the people who hold a different position than yourself. So I'm not going to be on here looking at, you know, uh, women who've had abortions as murderers and things like that. I, you know, I don't really get heavy in those, that kind of terminology. Um, but I do want you both to remember that sometimes people will um, make it sound as if a woman uh, having a surprised or unplanned pregnancy, almost as if it's like a weight around their neck. I was watching a video somebody posted um, by a, I think she's a poet. Um, this is a young lady. I don't know her name. I didn't watch the, the um, President Joe Biden's uh, inauguration. And she did a, apparently she did a really great poem. Uh, so I've, I've read uh, from different um, groups, both uh, conservative and uh, liberal, who said, you know, she was really good. And so anyway, she did this video. I forgot what was the name of the group she did it for. And it's like eight reasons, you know, to be, you know, pro-choice or what have you. And the thing is, I've thought to myself that, you know, in one of the parts she had made it, not just her, but other folks I've, I've heard, it seems like they make it seem like, a surprise pregnancy or unplanned pregnancy is like this is going to be this huge weight around your neck, right? Like you should have the, have the choice to abort uh, the uh, baby or fetus in your womb um, because you want to make certain decisions in your future. And that's just not always, you know, it, well, I should say that's not always the case. But it, again, it still makes it sound like that this surprise pregnancy, this unplanned pregnancy is just a weight around the woman's neck. I'm willing to to go out on a limb on this, but I would imagine that if you ask most women, married and unmarried, um, that most of the pre children, I would say most, but many children probably were born as a surprise or, or got, or, you know, yeah, they were born and they came from a surprise pregnancy. Um, I remember when, you know, Elaine and Elijah, when we got pregnant with both of you, both of you were literally surprised, literal surprises. We were not trying to have children. I didn't want to have any children. And, um, uh, you know, we were already, you know, trying to come up, still trying to come up even now, uh, financially and just thinking, oh, it's going to wear us down, this, that, and the third. And, you know, people told me, look, having one child, having two children, I've known folks who have three or four or five children who've been like, you make it work. You know, you figure out ways to budget, cut some things out. Uh, if you're a Dave Ramsey fan, live today like, like no one else. So later on, you could live like no one else. And it's one of those things that sometimes you have to make certain sacrifices by having children, but it doesn't have to have to put life on pause. It may put certain career moves on pause. It is possible. Right. Um, but I've met women, uh, have known women who have still been successful, even with surprise and unplanned pregnancies, even though uh, it, it was some that were married, some that weren't. OK, so it wasn't just that, oh, they were married. They were not married. They got pregnant by a guy they didn't like or, or what have you. And um, they knew by having their child, life was just not going to be easy and, and they weren't going to be able to move forward with their career. That's hogwash. Um, like I said before, it may be one of those things that certain things had to be put on pause and you may have to do a little bit of uh, maneuvering strategically. You know, sometimes with life, you do have to be strategic about it. OK, well, had this unplanned pregnancy, not making a whole lot of money right now. Maybe I need to move back in with mom, what have you. But anyway, that's another video for another time. My whole point being is that Elena Lodge, if you grow up, I don't want you to think that, okay, well, surprise pregnancy, unplanned pregnancy, man, I, I got to go for the abortion because I know life is just going to, you know, it's going to be rough with it. Life does get tough with having children. I wouldn't lie to you. Okay. But that doesn't mean that it's going to, it's going to stay that way. Sometimes uh, you go through different things from season to season. Um, for a certain number of years, but that doesn't mean you still can't find success. That doesn't mean you still can't accomplish goals and dreams with having children. Many women, God, God bless you all, have done it. My mothers have done it. Um, my mother has done it. Um, 
and no, and my other, um, I have aunts and, and my wife, you know, both of our children were, were not planned. She's still being a success, a successful educator, still out there doing great things, got her degrees, got, got, an, um, and other jobs and things of that nature, even after having, uh, children that were not planned. So anyway, my point being is that pro-life, you know, I'm not going to go through all the statistics and the data and stuff like that, but I do think we need to encourage more people to see that abortion doesn't have to just be an option just because you have an unplanned or surprise that, you know, wasn't expected. Um, because oddly enough, life will throw you other, uh, surprises, other, uh, events that are unplanned and somehow you figure out a way, figure out a way around them that you might have not had, uh, be able to, um, you figure out a way to, I shouldn't say I figure out a way around them. You figure out a way to live with those, th those things. Let's say you get in a car accident and you're paralyzed from waist down. Um, some people, you know, may end up having to live off some, some other, other, uh, person or persons, but a lot of people, you know, I like to uh, imagine, can imagine, uh, or some people I can imagine, I don't, like I said, I'm not doing data or statistics, but they try to figure out ways. Okay. Well, man, I'm gonna have to live my life, you know, paralyzed. I have to live my life with this or whatever it is. Let's see how I can figure out a way around, uh, or uh, not around. How can I figure out a way to, to get through life with this issue that is not going to just leave me? Okay. So again, being, uh, pro-life, it's a good choice, okay? Surprise and unplanned pregnancies may happen, but they don't have to be an anchor around your neck or your, your um, ankle, okay? It may just be that you have to figure out another way to live life with that surprise or unplanned event. Just something to think about.